What's happening, fam? LA all movement still moving. Salute to the Negro Manosphere. Check it out. Uh, this video is entitled Actions Beat Feelings. So, fellas, um, people's actions trump their feelings about you, okay? So, if somebody says they're down for you, their actions have to show that they're down for you. You know, they're fit, because, I mean, let's be honest, the road to hell can be paved with good intentions. People can actually ha love you. People can actually have feelings for you. But what do their actions say? You know, and everybody knows this because you, you know the hypocrisy of somebody saying um, they don't like a person, but their actions say that they do. You get what I'm saying? And see, people say, I like a person, but their actions say that they don't. So actions beat feelings. When, you're, when, when people say, you know, I'm down for you, but when you call, they don't answer. You know, as, as my grandparents would say, well, that's what your mouth say. You know, if you down for me and, I'm, and I make the call and you don't answer, you're not that down for me. You're not that down for me. You, your actions, if that's your repeated plan, if, you, if, you, if you're always unavailable to the person that you say you're down for, then you're not really down for them. You know, because at the same time, if you, you just chill, watch, the same person that says they're down for you is going to say that they don't rock with somebody else. But when that person calls, they answer. When that person needs help, they answer. And here's the, here's the hypocrisy. A closed mouth don't get fed. But if you ask for the help and they don't help you or you call to ask for the help and they don't answer, they'll still tell you a closed mouth don't get fed even though they didn't answer. But the person that they don't like, they answered and they asked and then they fed them. So the actions say, you know, that they rock with that person, even though they feelings, they say they feelings, you know, are the opposite. You know, deeds. A lot of guys want to be loved by 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 the opposite sex, by women. And one of the issues had always been, really, you know, you know these women have loved other men with their actions, and they won't do those same type of things for you. But they tell you how much they love you. She loves you. She tells you she loves you. But she won't cook for you, but she'll cook for him. She'll tell you she loves you. But she won't clean up your house, but she cleaned up his house. She'll tell you she love you. You know. She won't watch your kids, but she'll watch his kids. That, that feelings over at she she gonna she gonna tell you she love you. But she she's not as as, as sexual with you than she said she's been sexual with men in her past. But she'll tell you, you know, you differ from them guys. You're a better guy than those guys. But your actions don't say that. So actions beat feelings. You know, and people don't want to address that to a degree because guess what? When you address the actions, people actually get in their feelings. Don't use me. Don't use what I told you against me. You're not really using what people told you against them. You're pointing out... Um, if you ask for for something, if you ask for something good and you get something good and you treat it bad, but the things that you said treat you bad, you treat them good, it ain't it it has nothing to do with those two sides of that spectrum. It has something to do with you that's in the middle of it. You're backwards. And you gotta uh, understand that, you know, some people are backwards. Some people actions and words don't match. You know, I was kind of with a coworker of mine today, and um, I was like, you, you know you out of it, right? And they're like, why? I said, listen, when I see you outside of work, you happy. When I see you at work, you depressed. And it was like, I don't like this place. I'm depressed. 
every everybody don't like it. I'm like, I ain't got a problem with it. And I was like, you need to go, you know, get checked out, get some therapy. And they was like, and they said, well, I already know. Uh, I'm I'm happy when I'm gone. But when they said they was happy when they away from work, their face was stone. But when they said, you know, I was I'm the you know, you know, this place I'm depressed and I'm unhappy with certain things in life, they started smiling. And I'm like, you realize you just smiled by saying you depressed and unhappy, but when you happy, you just you look like you depressed. You see how those two things don't go together? Feelings. And actions, right? The other thing about that is this. People don't want to take into consideration that your money is an action. How you spend your money or how you don't spend your money is also an action. The effort that you put in is also an action. You know, your word is an action. So when you don't live up to your word, in the, even though you say, man, you know, I'm so down, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to do this, and you never do it, you know, that's an action. That lets the person know because if you told it to a different person that you're going to do it and you actually did it, somebody going to look at you funny. Same thing with, with the money situation. You know, oh, I'm a, you know, I'm always doing something for this person. I'm always financial, you know, I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm giving. Wow. Okay. So what about this other person? Uh-uh. But you said you was more down for them than you was for them. So you going to give them anything? Uh-uh. So really, your, your finances say you down for that person financially. Now, effort. If you put... And maximum effort with a person, that lets the people know where you stand with them. If you put minimal effort into a person, that lets them know where you stand with them. So, your actions are going to beat your feelings. You know, it's just like playing sports. You know, it's not what you say, it's what you do. You can talk all the trash you want to in practice. You can talk all the trash you want to in a game. What? When you get between them lines, what did your game say? What did your action say? You know, I feel like I'm better than that person. Okay, well, when you play against them, who's better? Well, see, you know what I'm saying? I had the flu in my pinky toe the first time. Okay, what about the second time? Um, you know what? They just got lucky. What about the third time? Um, I just wasn't interested. Okay, what about the fourth time? Um... Uh, my girlfriend broke up with me. No, your, your, your feelings, you feel like you're better than somebody. But in action, guess what? You're not. They're better than you. You're just going to have to bite that bullet. That's what, that you know, actions speak louder than words. You know, uh, DC always felt like he was better than John Jones. When they got in the octagon, that was never the case. That was never the case, right? So, in, in, in taking this further, fathers, y'all know where I'm about to go. <laughs> Some of y'all, you know, y'all kids say, I love you, daddy, but their actions say they love mama. <laughs> they add, with you, I love it when you give me stuff. I love that I know that you're going to spend money on me. You gonna get a hug today? Nah, you ain't gonna get a hug. You gonna get you gonna get out. I, I missed you today. Nah, you you ain't got that since that kid learned how to how to how to interact with mom. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now don't lo don't love your daddy. You know. And then as the kids grow, you know. Oh my God. Same thing. Sometimes in reverse. You don't. You trying to be such a dad and and, and a father figure. Sometimes. You know. You I, I love you. But my actions say I don't. You know, and your actions gotta say you do. And, or you gotta explain why your actions say that you do. So they can understand it's, it's not coming from the same place that it would a mother. You know, actions always beat feelings. 
You know, people will remember words as much as they say. But what people will remember more than words is actions. So I'm done. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.